Today I would like to show you how to crochet this uh, stitch, which I decided to call um, wrapped arrow stitch. It's not, it's very similar to the arrow stitch, but it's not made the same way uh, because the trebles are uh, wrapped around the stitches of the um, of two rows below. Uh, we will see how. So this stitch is very easy and it's made uh, with a, a multiple of five so because each one of these uh, rows these columns takes up uh, five stitches so we will start by making a, a chain a foundation chain with a, a multiple of five uh, so for this tutorial oh yeah maybe it's um, nice to know i'm going to use uh, paint box yarns um, wool mix iron in the 5.5 millimeter hook uh, but you can use any yarn with the uh, with the right hook uh, so i was saying we will make a foundation chain with a, a multiple of five so in this case i will make uh, 20 and then we need to add uh, two more uh, two more chains for uh, turning so i will chain in total 22 All right, here we are with 22 uh, two chains. So we said two chains are for um, turning. And then we will start with a, uh, with a double crochet row from this stitch. So for the first row, I like to crochet in the uh, back bump. So we yarn over and we start making our double crochet. So after this first row, uh, we simply chain one and now we have to make a single crochet row. So it's very easily this chain one doesn't count as a stitch. We turn and we start single crocheting from the very first stitch. All right, so now that we have our second row completed, it's time to actually start making the pattern. So for uh, row three, um, so we start with a chain two, uh, which counts as our first, um, let's say, half uh, double crochet. It's not actually a half double crochet, it's just the first uh, part of a double crochet stitch. And we turn. So we said that each uh, column, so now I will take one other symbol that I made just to show you. So if you look here, so we said that each one of uh, these columns they have, takes up five stitches. Um, so here we have to count. We have like one, two, three, four, and five uh, single crochets. And then it's one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, double crochet so for the third row we will need to crochet both on these stitches and then we will need to wrap uh, our trebles around this stitch we so will wrap a treble crochet around this stitch so wrapping on the front post so meaning that I insert my hook under the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and then I just simply complete my treble crochet like normal and so this is our first uh, our first stitch of uh, row three uh, now we need to make three double crochet stitches and be careful because so the the first stitch is this uh, chain two so we ignore the first single crochet here 
But we go to crochet into the second, the third and the fourth single crochet. So uh, just pull this uh, treble bit on the side if it's on the way because so you need to be careful not to skip any stitches on the back there. So we make three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then now we need to make a, um, to wrap another treble around the same stitch and complete the stitch with uh, a, a double crochet. I will show you how. So basically now we start with the treble around the same, uh, the same stitch. And we, this time we don't complete the treble completely. So we just yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And we leave two stitches on the hook. So basically this treble crochet is not complete. Instead what we do is we yarn over again to make a double crochet. We go into the next stitch. So again pull to see that it's exactly the next stitch on the previous row. Alright, and we pull up a loop. So we yarn over and we pull through two. So now what we do is simply uh, yarn over and close this double crochet and this treble crochet together. So we just yarn over and pull through three. And here we are, so we completed the first um, the first stitch of this pattern, the first uh, repeat of this pattern. Um, so now this one was a bit special because it was the first one uh, and in this case we didn't have to crochet uh, uh, the first part of double crochet. But now to make all the next repeats, we will actually have to make uh, the first um, part of the double crochet. So now we will need to identify the next five stitches. So you see here we used one, two, three, four and five. So the next ones will be one, two, three, four and five. Okay, so just count four from this one. One, two, three, four. And this is the stitch uh, for uh, wrapping our trebles. Okay, so but first on this side we start with a double crochet. We don't complete the double crochet, we leave these two uh, loops on the hook and we go on to make the treble. So we yarn over twice and then uh, I have to count again. So this is one, two, three, four. Okay, here we wrap our treble. Again, when you have three uh, loops on your hook, you close the treble and the double crochet together and you're done. So basically this stitch that we just made corresponds to this one. But since this was at the beginning, we consider the chain two as the first part, the double crochet one. So now again, we need to make uh, three double crochets. Ma make sure not to skip any stitches on the back of this uh, wrapped uh, treble. So one, two, and three. And now again, we repeat the same as we did here. So on this side, uh, we start with the wrapped treble. So I yarn over twice, I go around the same double crochet, two rows below and stop when I have two loops uh, on my hook so I don't complete the stitch. I yarn over to make uh, my double crochet. So go to the next stitch here on this row and then close Again, the double crochet and the treble together. And there we go. So the uh, we have now two repeats. And we just continue like this until the end. So again, we start on this side. We start with the double crochet and then the treble. So first, the first part of the uh, double crochet. Then I yarn over uh, twice. And then I go, I count. So I need to find the middle stitch of the next five so it's this one and 
and close together. Of course, the easiest way is to count four stitches from the from the previous one where you wrapped the trebles. Uh, so again, three double crochets. And again, one um, first treble, and then double crochet. And with this uh, last stitch we completed row 3. Now the next row is very easy because we just chain 1 and we go on to make a single crochet row. We turn and make 20 single crochets. For the next row, uh, again, we chain two as we did before and we turn. So now for this next row, we just repeat what we did in uh, row three. Uh, the only exception is that um, all the um, all the wrap trebles are always going to be in this middle stitch here. You remember we did three double crochet stitches um, in between these two weird uh, ones. So the wrapped uh, trebles always go around this middle one. So here we do the same as we did before. We go under this stitch and we wrap our treble. So for this one we just close and again we repeat. So this stitch is the, the first one. Uh, so we already worked it, let's say. So with this chain two, which counts as first double crochet. So we go into the next one to make double crochet and two more double crochets. And we basically continue as we did before. So we wrap the yarn twice around the hook and we make another uh, treble around the same stitch. We don't uh, close the stitch completely, we yarn over and we make the double crochet and close them together. So you see that now we start forming our stack and we continue working like this. You see, so this is the middle. And close.
All right, here we are at the end. So this is row five. So the next row is going to be the same as we did for row four. So we chain one, we turn, and we single crochet. And uh, this is it. This is how we uh, grow this uh, stitch. So you see here I made a little bit more. So you can keep going, repeating the same two rows over and over again. So one row uh, with the wrap trebles and one row of single crochet stitches.